It's fine. It's all right. It's fine. It's all right. Here you go. The match doesn't matter. <laughs> this is what matters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we got Venia versus Mr. E. Going into grand finals, these two will have to face each other once again. Can they live up, or will they face puns that are a little too on the nose? Well, what I heard is what comes up must come down. Yep. Here my feet don't touch the ground. See, I'm not so sure Fair about that when I see these down. up air strings. I'm not impressed with that a sound. <laughs> Gretch, I can feel your every rage. My <laughs> Step aside, I'll turn the page. Break it to your crazy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um, what were we talking about? <laughs> Jen's dead. Watch this, he's dead. Never mind. Could he's coming back ball. instead. Yeah. This is not a wrap. Live a life? No, he eats the lead. Are you freestyling right now? <laughs> I might be, but I should commentate instead. I'm actually sick. <laughs> Okay, Jen, uh, that was supposed to be a trump. Jen just went, like, flying to the blast zone. There Again, we go. looking silly. Oh, yeah. Like bubble gum. Up <laughs> tilt to up air, my favorite combo. <laughs> did you just rhyme again? Yeah, I did. I, hate you. I, I made a terrible rhyme. I heard. Yeah. I'm right. disgusted. Yep. You should be. That, that's an appropriate emotional reaction. Headshot? Yep. See, now what gets me about this matchup, right, is that for all the times we've seen uh, Jen versus Venya, I feel like there's tech that comes in and out and just sees random intervals of use and then doesn't show up again for a while. Like, remember when uh, Jen and Ray would catch Venya jumping with their up smashes, just raw uh -huh. up smashes in neutral? I feel like I haven't seen that in months, despite the fact that it's still, like, a valid option. But I feel like both players have adapted past that, and then they'll come back around to it. You know what right. I mean? Like, these guys play each other all the time. time. Okay. It's all funny chasing after him off stage. Oh, oh. Got, they hit the double jump, too. Yes. Oh, risky business, and he gets him. Yeah, I mean, that was just like that hit film, uh, Risky Business. <laughs> you know, I don't know. That kill made me think of the other hit film, Star Wars, because he shot the laser. That's a, that's a stretch. He's back on stage. All right. Down tilt, very hungry for it. You saw him trying to get that shield poke too. If he managed to land that, mm -hmm. that would have been Jen's stock. It looked like he was only one down tilt. There it is. Actually shield poking it. Uh, no kill off of the confirm yet, but he does get him yeah. off stage. All right, keeping him back. Look, uh, the reticle's a little risky against a character like Greninja, but doesn't suffer too badly for it. I'm not saying this is likely, and I'm not saying that I want it to happen, but I'm not saying I don't not want it to happen. And that is, if any of washes Jen, Yes. We could potentially finish before midnight. Maybe. Like, I How much time do we have? We have five minutes. Let's go, Venia! Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, no, I love Jen. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's like, I'm not I'm not rooting for it, but I'm not not rooting for it. I see. I'm telling Jen, bro, you are his manager. <laughs> HO3K. Oh. Well, kiss your dream goodbye. That's all right. I mean, well, he can, he can kiss the stock well, goodbye. Well, the problem is it's not a wash, like, because no. Venia's on his last stock. Well, if anyone's going to be doing washing, what better character than the Water Ninja? What What is the name <laughs> of what uh, Greninja's neutral B shoots? Uh, the water? water Shuriken? Huh? Water Shuriken? Did you watch Detective Pikachu? No. Greninja Stars. Really? That is. The oh my god, that's... Get on it, casters. Greninja Gren Stars. Greninja that that stars. film's not canon. I will 130%. 174.5% use that in Venya all future with iterations. the Greninja Star camping. Yeah. Trying to... Camping? Yeah. I'm going to start Whoa. calling Fox's Shine Reflector then. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Damn right. it. Get some backed off there with the Greninja feed. All right. The Greninja back air. If anyone and wins it was this, we have four minutes. Nice. Yep. You, really you really want your boy to lose, huh? Look, well, Nelvin won last week at <laughs> landing the final blow at 11.59. So we finished on Wednesday. You're trying to recreate the <laughs> trying magic. Trying to do that again. All right. Well, let's see. I mean, it could happen. It's uh, running pretty short right now. We've got less than four minutes. I mean, this game has already taken about four minutes. Yeah, like I said. Well, I don't know. Maybe Jen could start the... Oh. Well, dream, kiss that dream goodbye. I was I ending was, on a Thursday. I was literally about <laughs> ending to say on if a Jen SDs a couple on times. a Thursday. On a Thursday, with ending, several ending, R's. ending on a Thursday. Ending on a Thursday.
All right, well Someone then, purposely picked this song. I mean, if that's, I saw that. if that's what it is, then I'll just put all my bias back into chat. They literally picked this song on purpose. Just to spite you? Just to no, make it was, you it was, it was Venya. He heard me. He, he heard you? He, he heard me bitching. I think he sd would specifically because this song wasn't playing. He needs white noise in the back, you know what I mean? All right. You're calling this song white noise? <laughs> well, I mean, if you hear it so many times. All right. Chasing with up there. Covering with Nair. Very safe, very typical power option. Neutral, I throw out my forward air, you don't get it. Thank God he got muted. Holy crap. Hello, we're back. Well, I'm back. Now that we've, uh, we have gotten the musicality out of us. The rhythm is gone. We're back with Solgaleo, Rinala, and Greninja, and uh, Palutena, and a stadium full of low-res models, though they look pretty good from a distance. <laughs> I don't know if I'm here right now. <laughs> it is late, man. I, I feel you. I feel like I've been checked out for like on and off for the past 20 minutes. Dude. Yeah. We're going to power through. <clears throat> yep, we will. Speaking of power through, power throwing any option that he has right there with that Nair does have, uh, I forget what it is, trample or no collision or something like that. Um, also, no life because he sends Greninja right off the side. New stock. All right, here we go. Yep. They're, they're throwing out moves in the neutral. I mean, Jen's going to be able to get that neutral air, try to keep that damage train going 40%. You know, we always call it like a Nair train or a damage train. What it if it's start, like, it, I mean, it starts off of a Nair, you know? What if, what if it's not a locomotive? What if it's like a bus? Oh, I'm hopping on the Nair bus. Oh, I'm hopping on the Nair plane. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, you gotta catch that uh, landing with the forward smash. Yep. Nair to catch the ledge jump. This is really good for Jen. Mm -hmm. Nair carpool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch I'm trying to cast, y'all. <laughs> I'm actually trying right now. Yo, I wanted to get a Nair plane out for my vacation. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Time to get loopy. Sorry. Yeah, Gretch is gone. Right, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> He's actually done for. <laughs> it's, it's just because you keep beating. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm back for real, I promise. Uh, just like... <laughs> just like... <laughs> I was going to say Jen is back on stage, but it's fine. <laughs> Just cut my mic for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna solo cast for a while. Okay, so we got a back throw coming from Jen. <laughs> Venny is still at 134%. Now this could be good for him. He's already sitting at the high percent. If Jen manages to get one more sneakaroo on the hit, he can easily reset this bracket, go into this final true finals afterwards. But Jen is not gonna give it up that easily. He can easily, he can try to play as safe as possible. Try to avoid the situation from happening. But as I say that, no even, no zoom in required. Just catches him hopping, gets a short hop. That's going to be a win for Jen in Grand Finals. He goes on to a reset the young bracket. Their set count today is now 1-1. The final set happening right now, best two of three here in True Finals. Going to go back. Uh, wouldn't it doubt if we didn't see them going to PS2 for game number one. Honestly, the entire set's probably just going to take place on Pokemon Stadium 2. Are you good? So if yeah. either, either one washes the other right now, well, we could maybe end before 12:10. All right. Why does it matter? It's Thursday. I think I'm okay. All right. I think I'm good. Every precious minute I was <laughs> sleeping. I have to wake up early tomorrow. Same. How early? How early, Devin? Oh, uh, that doesn't know. matter. It's a relative thing. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, speaking of relative, you know, some would say this is overplayed, but I, that's all relative. You know, like who's listening? Like Osti, I think you've heard this song maybe five times now in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, crank, crank that, Devin. I like this look. All right. 
right. Yo, actually punishes the uh, whiff. I think that was dash attack. Might have been running down. Though. They're honestly really hard to tell. The plants, the difference of. There we go. Boys, a down smash. We're going for the ledge. You saw Benny trying to go for the two frame with it. Now, this could be a big deal. Jones is hoping for like a roll on stage or maybe hit for him to drop right down in front of him. Challenges the area with the dash attack. Gonna be able to use the guard point on the shield. Yo, that's the second whiff grab. So Jen trying to uh, find it, get him off stage for sure. Nothing off the shadow sneak. So I'm trying to set him up with that down tilt as well. Oh, Tomahawk. Nothing off from any of it though. Jen's yeah. been looking for these options, but he hasn't been guessing right. But he. If he is, that's really bad news. And now we're seeing Venya do the classic, right? We saw this when uh, Venya was fighting off against Frozen Ooh. earlier on in the bracket. Oh, oh my god, I didn't no. connect! It fell off. Uh, but well, what I was going to say is that we saw Venya playing like this against Frozen earlier on in the bracket, where against Palutena, he tends to play a lot better when he's trying to like hover on that Pokeball in the center mm -hmm. and not play the approaching game. That's what Jen wants, because stuff like that happens. If Venya jumps into Jen while he's mid-air like that, going to get caught by a Nair, and take the way of stock. He wanted to jump so badly. You can yes. tell off of that up smash alone, Venny is a little hungry. I'm honestly surprised he didn't just uh, nair out a shield. I was waiting for it. But okay. Punish. Little bit, a uh, little bit of a whiff, misinput there from yeah. Jen. Not be able to he get actually, that punish from the counter. He actually fast fell, uh, air dodged through Palutena's up air, which is a lot harder than it looks. Venny uh, has lost sets to that before, but. Uh, all right, reground with the fair. Spacing out at ledge here. He wants to keep him over as much as possible, not letting him get too much of an inch without a fight. Dashes back. That's one thing, right, is that it's really hard to keep Greninja in a corner if he's not currently off the stage. He's wow! No! no! He you didn't. got it! He didn't actually. You got it! I'm gonna be honest. I, w I would be shook. I would be amazed if Benny is not. This at least is a the shook. worst time to get shook when you're in grand finals and you have to secure that set, and now Jen's about to win a third game in a row against you. Yes, that's the thing, right? Is that every little mistake? Imagine when you play a game, right, and you have to, oh, you know, I could have gotten that conversion for the combo or the kill or this and that. Imagine that magnified. These guys have been playing all night. Every mistake they see now will have immediate ramifications. That could potentially end their stock or the game. Look at that. That's it. Jen always on point with those expl explosive flames. Catching the air dodge from Venia. Going to take this to a potential final game of the night. That's three games in a row. Mm -hmm. Jen just needs to win one more, take home the entire thing. After getting sent to losers by Venia. I mean, this, this is still doable. It's very doable. Venia has won multiple games in a row before against Jen, but he was in a better frame of mind. My, my, as, one, as a wise man once said, he could be at an emotional disadvantage. Potentially. Ooh. Ooh. This is a remix. This is nice, though. I don't hear this very often. Here we go. Dash had to push him up. This is Venia's time to turn up the heat, but we've got the caught with the Nair. Benny again likes to go for the jumps a lot. Jen doing a damn good job. I'm just tacking on this damage bit by bit off stage. Yep. Oh my god, catches Catch the, the uh, double jump. Yeah, he read that too. I was surprised he got back to the ground without catching any more damage on that one, but only eats one up air. Uh, not looking so great right now, but uh, he can make this work. Uh, both of these characters actually get a lot out of the juggle in this match. Oh, he tried to he fastball tried to air, air dodge. dodge again. Gets Nicked by the explosive flame at the very last moment. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, if you get hit by one hit of explosive flame, and it's not the last one, you're probably going to get hit by the last one. Uh, I think I've seen it fall up maybe one time ever. So as the chorus of Venya's demons, the bracket demon, Jen, taking him to his fourth game, potentially fourth win in a row, Venya must find the strength within himself. Past the anger, past the emotion. Can he bring this back? for a fifth game. We'll just have to wait and see. There we go. Nair. Oh my god, this chorus really, or this choir. It goes in, man. All right. Catches him jumping again, runs right in there. The thing is, Jen's the one playing aggressive now. Mm -hmm. Going against the edge against Venya. All right. Yo, back air falling out. A very rare fallout on that one. Tries to go for a time on the shield. 
Don't see that one too often. Venya seems like he's trying to experiment with some new options here. He's trying to make something new work, but it's not looking like anything's sticking quite yet. See him trying to get that cross up with the Nair as well. Catches the double jump. Chases. Yep. Good follow up with the reverse jacket. All right, parries the water. Uh, not very practical, but a statement if ever. He went was super deep for that back here. Yes, he did. Gets nicked by the up air one more time. Venia is struggling. It's looking difficult. Dash attack still not taking him off the top, though. This is absolutely a final boss in gen, if ever there was one. Venny can still bring this back, but it's going to be really difficult. Avoids death there by back throw. Dash tag catches him trying to run away. All right. This is it. His potential tournament stock. All right. Back air trace with Nair. It's the regrab. Oh, yo, good chase on the rollback. Jen's in his head. He's got a stock lead right now, so this is looking a little dicey for Venya. And Jen's, uh, Venya is still playing really aggressive. He's trying to get it right in front of Jen's face. I think he really recognizes that he's like at a disadvantage in terms of the stock, so he's just trying to like make up for it maybe a little bit too badly. Yes. Now here's the thing, right, is that a lot of Greninja's and Venya's options as a player are aggressive. And you can't let an opponent, no matter how well they're doing against you, take away your options because that makes you more predictable I and you'll love start that. slipping further. I Yo. love that. Oh, I thought he took I thought that was it. Yes! Gets the forward oh my smash! God. Venya bringing it back. Bring it back. It's 85%. Jen looking to try to finish this off already. All right. 100, he has to double jump to avoid the explosive flame. Yep. Those last two stocks were actually pretty clean by Venya. It looks like he's narrowing in on Jen here, trying to find something that works. Actually gets the correct read on the jump away, but doesn't quite nick him. All right. Want to get that up tilt. Would it easily set up into an up air afterwards? And I mean, not to get the kill, but it would have put him in a terrible position. I like how he avoided that grab because he, he actually went through him. Yep. Very ambiguous when you're right at the ledge like that. Oh, what a setup. Nearly gets the conversion into up smash. Not you, quite. Looking for that up air. Would have connected into a death. Jen. Yo, he got away from that. How did he not get? Oh, my God. Did he really? Yo. Venya finally putting a point on the board. Brings us to a game, final game. We're going to game, game five. Three. Game five. Yes, game total. Game the score five. is four to one, though, or three to one. Three to one. I mean, that's how that, that was one hell of a comeback. Venya, Venya made the right calls. Like that wasn't just, you know, fishing for options and hoping they work. Like he just did a lot of stuff right at that time. So let's see if he can carry that over into this one. The final game. Venya versus Jen. Ninja versus Palutena. Going straight to the battlefield. Now, with all these platforms, it's going to allow Jen to be able to get a lot of teleport cancels off these platforms. There we go. Nera again just to try to catch him jumping. Yes. And if they jump at each other, usually it's going to be Palo's Nera that wins just because based off the fact that it has, like, it, not the biggest destroyed hitbox, but it, like, it covers her body. Mm -hmm. It covers her body fairly well, um, and the hitbox is active very frequently, so it's hard to get in between the re-hit rate, um, which makes it very difficult to challenge. Although, um, you bait it out, you outspace it. So. All right. All right, a lot of, oh my god, four-dimensional chess. Reading each other's roles, approaches, etc. on that one. That was crazy. Okay, running right in. Yep. Yo, he actually beat out the dash attack. I'm seeing a whole bunch of, like, not first, but rarities on this one. Like, trading with the Nair, beating out the dash attack, etc. The back air from Greninja falling out, all that stuff. All right. Benny is turning up the heat bit by bit. He's definitely tossing a lot of stuff out neutral, but he's not aggressively doing so. It looks like he's reassessing. He does get caught trying to air dodge through the explosive flame. Ooh, it looked like he wanted to do that off the stage. Up throw. All right. Good safe angle. All right, catches him right away with the dash attack. Very difficult to challenge that outright. He keeps trying to challenge that uh, up B recovery on the ledge. Down tilt. I mean, it's a long-lasting hitbox. That's why he's going oh, for it. But there, he, nice. he recognizes that Venya was recovering the same way a lot of the times without a hydro pump. 
trying to go like underneath the stage and going upwards. So that time, Jen finally calling it out by giving up stage control in order to like jump off there and go for the neutral air. Mm -hmm. And you see uh, again, Venya sitting there waiting in shield for Jen to budge, for Jen to do something that he can punish while he's invincible off the spawn platform. But Jen's not giving him anything. He's not afraid to take the throw at this sort of percent. Down tilt into forward air. The classic. Look at that Greninja it's star. Ooh. Oh, no control. Up smash. Catch that tech roll in. It. Holy cow. All right, actually catches the jump away. Jen definitely seems to have his number with the jump aways on this one. Venya playing a little bit more on the defensive heel. And uh, Jen's calling him out for it. All right, going in. Nothing with the up air. Nair. Ooh, good parry. See, look at them chase each other like this. He was charging the up smash. I don't know how Jen got out of that. Yeah, it was a weird angle for the up smash. Like he was far and down. But does manage to hit him out of it? All right, forward. Not something you seem to often on the stage. See, and I, I like that Venya's not trying to play this too aggressively because if it comes to boxing up close in the air, uh, Palutena is more likely to win out more often than Venya is. But when he's playing on the back foot like this, Jen keeps pressing just a little bit into him. Like, oh, hey, I'll chase your jump back, I'll chase your roll back, etc. Um, and he can still do that with things like dash attack or reverse back air. All right, good counter poke. That was a bit of a hard beat. Ooh, okay, that was good. Yo, he tries to go for the restand, but he shields it. That was actually mad smart. I didn't even know that was an option off of this down air. I thought his down air would have sent him the tumble and kept him there. It's back. See, look at that. You see, like, Jen will run up and then shield because he's been following all these rollbacks. Um, but he wants to make sure that he doesn't get the hitbox for it. Oh, well, I like that recovery. You see him just going for the down air off stage. Just to get back on with the double jump. Very nice. Um, not a whole lot of telegraph to that either. That's quick and it doesn't really have much startup. And Jen can't find a way to kill this frog, this toad. There it is, net neutral air. Final stocks for both players. Well, he gets the likes at some point, hooks this frog, and it is, in fact, down to final stock. Big damage. Yep. Coming in from Jen. Off that grab, 52. Not giving him any sort of stage control whatsoever, not letting him land on the ground. What that was, was that? So he went for a forward tilt, and Benny was pushing him, and they both thought they were all like on the opposite sides. I so <laughs> that, that was just, that was just zany. So that looked like yeah, that looked like Jen was trying to catch a dash attack through his shield, and then he got stuck on him while he's yeah. Oh God, that was crazy. But now we see him going for these forward airs, trying to catch the ledge jump. Um, yep. There we go. Venya not letting himself be pushed into the ledge too much because that's where he has been catching most of his damage up in the air now. Trying He's to staying center stage, stage a lot. Yes, he is absolutely. And that's the thing. It's hard for Palutena to catch that without a hard read. But uh, Jen is always following close behind. He's waiting for something that he can punish like that. Takes him back off stage. And now it looks a little bit scary again for Venya. Throw. Oh, try to call him out. The forward smash gets punished in kind. Off stage pressure from Venya. Ooh. He's out of jumps. Warps onto the ledge, Yo, barely misses, gets the Hydro Pump, and Venia taking home the entire tournament. Xeno 169, a nice win for Venia coming at you. What? After losing three games in a row, what? finally takes the what two that he came needs. Back. What a comeback. What a fantastic a came look. Back. A came back. He came back. All it was is that literally oh. it was that it was this down smash right here. Yes. That did everything right here. Bam, that was the seal deal. Because like now he was set up perfectly to be sent offline by the hydro pump. And it was over. And Palutena is already curled up and accepted mm. defeat, man. So Palutena's I don't think we're doing interviews, interviews because I think we're just getting the nah. heck out of here. I, I assume. Right, I mean, Devin? Yeah, we're we're Venya, leaving. Venya's been here. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good night.